Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We are coming towards the end of Leon's story in this in the, at this stage of the Resident Evil timeline. But it is far from being over. I'm sure it's delicious, but, but I am rather busy at the moment. Go put all these guys down. You dead? No. Done. Don't get back up. Bish, what did I just say? I said don't get back up. Disobedient little shit. I said don't get up. What do you do? Disobey. A direct order. Hi! What the? Really, Leon, how are you surprised at this stage? Right, he's not getting back up. 100% confident he is not getting back up. Murf, muff, rather. Uh, put you in there. Now we can move on. Good, he learnt his lesson. He's dead, I'm sorry. Both Lee and Cartwright. What have we got here? Special Forces recording. Target moving to the west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-Virus and antiviral agent. This is Ghost understood. Rendezvous at point W3. Roger. This is Alpha. Arrived at destination. Understood. Stand by for target. This is Alpha. I've got eyes on the target. He's going to open the safe. Roger. Awaiting signal. Got eyes on the G-Virus. We're going in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. G-Virus is in the west area. Got it. Over there, which we can't get to just yet. I know I don't have level 4 access. But the note in the other room told me there were only three. Guess I'm not important enough for four. East area. Well, lucky they told us. Okay, 
we're good so far, I think. Get the old flamethrower ready. Burn, bitch. Thank you very much. Hold on a second. Just getting some items up because I played this so many times. I took pictures of the puzzles, but I'll show you how they're done regardless, just so we know. There's been no cheating. That one, that one, that one, and that one. I've already used my foresight before, so no judgments. And is that the right one? Or are you the scenario B one? Nope. Okay, you are the correct one. Good to know. Right, let's both of those open. Uh, yes, you. There it is. Okay. What? Come on, both you fry. Thank you. do anything about you guys for now. Right. Herbicide synthesis. Plant 43 herbicide synthesis. One, place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required required amount of UMB number 21. Cool immediately. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If sometimes if something unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the event of an unforeseen incident, manufacture the herb manufacture the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize the damage. So they've learned from plant 42. Still didn't work out for you, did it? Alright. This, this one should be... Thank you. This one should be red, green, and then blue. Red, green, blue, red, green. Yes! I are a big brain. A 
that should be this one clear. Yes. Okay, so we've got the first, we've got the solution done, now we just need to freeze it. Um. Right. First off. I'm going to have to go back this way. Because there's going to be a few zombies and liquors. So I need I need better weapons. You alright in there? Ditch, ditch. Put you to there, make that. Uh, you shotty shells. Do I need anything else? I don't think I do. Okay, I think we're ready. God, don't start lagging on me game. Better to have it than not. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. What have we got here? Yes, more of those. Thank you. And a map. Perfect. Yes. I didn't mean to hit you. Never mind. Shit. Yeah, I didn't think you two were done just yet. Okay. Alright, one of the codes is on here and the other one is on the door to the vent that I already opened so there, there you go one of them is underneath the trophy just in case you didn't know no don't want that I want this Shit! Come on, I've put enough shells into both of you. Son of a bitch. Bastards. Whew. Lucky I had that knife with me. Oh, you're up already. You're normally only just starting to get up when I come in here. Alright, that's him dealt with. Oops. I'm not messing about any more, boys. I 
Somebody's note. Everybody's turned, vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. Hello. You right there? Sorted. Let's head back down here. He's not going back to his kids. Oh, that's sad. But truth is, nobody here is going back to their kids if they had them. You are Murph. Perfect. Shall I make this an extended episode and finish this off here? This is the final area. More magnum bullets. More of those. Uh, ditch the shotgun for now because I don't think I need it anymore. Compound one large one left. Thank you. Wayne Lee's inbox. Rick Mendoza, what's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Call your jets, asshole. Well, I well, I guess he is the boss for now, anyway. Have uh, for now, anyway. Have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you found it. I found it. Byron Cartwright, busy guy, huh? So you couldn't make our little meeting. Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next and get it done right. Get it, oh, get it done tonight. Rick Mendoza, are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bastard Cartwright hiding? Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed, but might have to wait a, wait a while. Well, that's uh, an odd final email to send to a friend, but that's... Who left the freezer open? Who indeed? Those were going to be your final words, so I'm not going to hold it against you. Right, let's chill this. I love the fact that this arm is still is over the top animated like the original one was. Look, that seems like a lot of uh, animation just for that. And then again, I don't work in a lab. In a lab, I don't know how things work in there. Maybe that's an accurate representation. I get it, Leon. You're cold. We're leaving. Just chill, will you? Uh, go back this way. Hi! What? 
Die, please. Thank you. I like how the flamethrower scorches the walls as well. That is attention to detail I can appreciate. Everything's unlocked now. Well, not quite. Uh, ditch you. Here we go. I need that. That did the trick. Warning. You have disposed a dangerous solution without authorization. So, sorry. That seems harsh. Oh, you're up and about. And you as well. Shit. Thank you. Come on, stop making me waste this. Thank you. All right, that should be all of you. Yes, music has stopped. Yay, I have level three. Oh, hi, I was just leaving. Nice seeing you again. Not. Thankfully, he doesn't follow us very far, I don't think. Byron Cartwright's inbox. William Birkin, high priority, increased security. When did Ness become a nest for spies? Three last month and another four this month. And, not, and those are just the ones we caught. Step up security, Cartwright, or do you want to end up like your predecessor? Also, I'll be restricting access to the West Area from today. Ignore all requests from headquarters for information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. No reply, auto-generated. Unauthorised access detected. Herbicide dispersal by unauthorised employee detected in East Area, Wayne Lee. Sorry, Wayne. I know you're dead, but I seem to have got you in even more trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. This, that area should all be clear now, yes? Yes. Good. Alright, let's... Open this bridge and then pop over to see our, see our buddy Wayne again. Hopefully, the is up here. Hopefully, you never know. Sorry to disturb you, Wayne, but I believe you've got the last fanny pack in this room. 
and I need slash want it. Okay, muff. There we go. There we go. No, not examine. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. I'm just going to read your diary. Wayne Lee, Lee's note. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead, all dead. It was those men in black, USS, Headquarters, Special Forces. But why? Isn't their job to protect us? White brains in a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I'll screw them. I'll win the noble. I'm a hero. A genius. A god. I will not die. I will. Uh, how did godhood work out for you? Yeah, not so good, eh? Right, this area is now done. Will it wane? Shumble on. Because in a few hours' time, Wayne, it's not going to matter. At all. I think I will press on because we're very close to the end now. I know I'm not special enough for level four. You don't need to keep reminding me every time I go past. Ooh, another home movie. Okay, and you are OSS. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Birkin. You come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! Sorry, Hunk. We're in, sir. We had a snafu. Target resisted. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. This is the sample, then. Let's move. I'd hate to be that Martinez guy had he survived. I imagine disciplinary from Hunk is not... Uh, yes, they were, Leon. I imagine getting a disciplinary from a Hunk is not the uh, nicest of experiences. He is a hardened veteran, after all. Okay. William Birkin's inbox. Jane Doyle suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and the laboratory director, William Birkin, has been removed from his post. Thank you for your email, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Richard Kessler, congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report this to 
You never thought to report the research... Oh, for God's sake. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry, you've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Jane Doyle, notice of admonishment. Ooh, big fancy word. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorised contact with the US military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Oh, Birkin, you naughty, naughty boy. Alright, what am I going to need? I don't want to use the grenades. I want to save those for Mr. X. I'll leave it for now. Because there's another chest up ahead where I can properly prepare for the fight. <coughs> Alright, what have we got here? Research Diary Embryo Growth Observations After the G embryo was implanted in, sub in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began, began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Reading rate observations. Subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. Subjects 628 and 639, T-virus resistance. We administered the G-virus on subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T-virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 hours. T-virus resistance does not stop the mental deter deterioration caused by the G-virus. What lovely people. Uh, we know what that is. Huh. That was easy. It was indeed. All right. Back to Ada. Uh, not quite yet, Leon. More Magnum rounds. Right. <coughs> I'll ditch the handgun for now. Uh, I'll take you and that lot. Uh, put you away. The shotgun has three rounds. I think I might be a tad screwed here. All right, I'll take these. And I'll have to hang them back. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to use the grenades, really. Uh... Take some extra health just to be safe. And I'll take the shotgun. Just in case. Okay. Okay. 
It's time to leave. Yeah. Your umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. You tell me everything. Right from the start. again. I love how they've made G look in this. Pressing space for some reason. Show me your eye, you bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yes! Didn't quite go as planned, but still won. Let's collect all the things. Ooh, more magnum rounds, yes. Not many, but it'll do. <coughs> well, the service lift is going to have to wait, unfortunately. I am busy looting. Right, Kate, that's everything collected. Now we can get out of here. Hi, Annette, you okay? After being slammed into a wall and crushed. It was already in the wrong hands, love. But I get what you mean. G virus is just too dangerous for anyone to have. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, no. How am I doing? There's going to be more items to pick up, so let's ditch these for now. Put you there, you back up there, get rid of you, and you put you there. Okay. I know, love. Time to leave. Hi, Ada. Nice hacking. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Wait, it's clear. Please, tell me you got it. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's 
that's all this was. I was just some pawn to you. Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun. I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. That is a one hell of a risk. But I think it shows that Leon is good at reading people. How did you make that shot? Bye. Are you dead now? I hope they bring back this cast for the Resident Evil 4 remake. I really hope they do. Nick did an amazing job as Leon. And Jolene, it was Jolene, yes, who plays Ada. Bring her back as well. Because they both did a phenomenal job. Had to look it up. Come on, Leon, you can mourn later. We need to leave. I love the design for the labs in this. But one of the biggest strong points of this remake is how well designed everything is in terms of locations. I love the RPD. I love the streets. I just wish we could have, could have seen more of them. And I love the labs as well. The sewers, well, they're always my least favourite area in any game. So, nothing new there. First aid spray. Who's that? It's Claire, who you're supposed to be with, Leon. Claire! Leon? You're down here too! Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. Are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. And definitely bring back Stephanie as Claire for a Code Veronica remake. Nine, six, and, two, and yes, I am still holding out hope for a Code Veronica remake because Code Veronica deserves one. I don't have time to deal with you lot. Oh, 
Hi. Apparently so. Just not a very funny one. Hey there. Run, Leon. That was rather quiet. Yes, you do. Right. I'm going to ditch that. Get rid of that. Plenty of health, and then flash grenades, hand grenades. Take all of those. We need spaces for the plugs, so I'll take two more of those. Okay, this strategy usually works. Let's hope it works this time. Hi. You got big beefcake. God. Yes! Give me the rocket launcher, thank you Ada.
Give me the deliciousness. Thank you. <laughs> Bitch. Get back up from that. I dare you. Thanks, Eagle Eye. I am not messing about. We need to leave. <sighs> yeah, get on that train, Leon. And we can relax. I can't believe I actually miss her. You'll see her again, possibly in Europe, the Spanish region of Europe. was a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I've played through it and just enjoyed the experience, like the whole story episode, side of it. My usual playthroughs have just been me, like me messing around with like the infinite weapons and skipping the cutscenes and whatnot. That was a lot of fun. I loved this game a lot. It's not quite up to the same standards as the original RE2, which for me is still the best game, not just in the Resident Evil series, but ever. It is my all-time favourite game. But I love this. Let's see how we did. Probably not great. Uh-oh. It's not over yet, folks. Oh, it's got a less rank. Not too bad, then. Nine saves. Three hours, 20 minutes. Wow. Well. Can't complain too much about that. It's been a while since I've done a proper playthrough. Loved it. But anyway, that concludes Leon's story in Raccoon City. But what of Claire? Be sure to tune back in tomorrow for the continuation of Resident Evil 2. But for now, I am going to end this here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 2. And I will catch you next time. Take care now.